Hi everyone, I'm Chef Pity, back with another cooking segment. Today's lesson is beef with Chinese broccoli, or gai lan in Cantonese. Now gai lan is a popular Chinese vegetable served regularly at the dinner table. Now this vegetable can be found at your local Asian market. Um, look for the green, so this is gai lan right here. Now look for the green, um, like real fresh and young looking leaves. Uh, and then um, real kind of a slender stems. Now avoid, like I got a couple of these uh, mature ones with a really a kind of a darker uh, leaves with thick stems. They get, tend to be a little bit chewy and um, stringy. So avoid these, okay? Okay, let's get to work. These are the ingredients I have. Um, I have uh, beef lamb steak, uh, 11 ounces. Uh, look, try to get some good quality ones. Sometimes they have these cow flank steak that are real tough. Um, look for ones that, you know, they're usually about eight or ten dollars a pound. You don't need very much, so I would get the good quality ones. Um, I have um, the gai lan, Chinese broccoli. I have 14 ounces here, and I'll show you how to prep these. I have ginger and garlic. I have, um, th this is a chicken base. You can also, if you have chicken stock or soup stock, that would be good. I'm just, I don't have that right now, so I'm just going to use chicken base. I have uh, salt. I have sugar. So salt, a quarter teaspoon. Sugar, half a teaspoon. And then uh, I got um, white pepper powder. And then uh, I have uh, cornstarch. I have light soy sauce, uh, cooking wine, oyster sauce, and sesame oil. Okay? And, uh, I'll show you how to prep. With the gai lan, it's, um, I washed it already, um, so I like to wash it a couple of times. Sometimes there's little bugs in there or dirt. So wash it uh, at least a couple of times and strain it out real well. I'll show you how to prep these now. So basically, um, with, the, uh, with the stem, what you want to do is you want to just take the, peel the outside part out, just the skin part. Because that tends to be uh, a little stringy and just peel it on like that. So I'll do a couple of these, I'll show you. If they're nice and tender, you wouldn't have to do it, but some of these are really thick and mature. Now got it all done now, so now I'm just going to blanch it. So I got the water boiling. And now it's going to blanch. Basically you just blanch for two to, two to three minutes. Just about ready here. Let's turn off the fire. And we'll put it in the strainer. Beef, you want it uh, cut it across the across wise so that you want to uh, make sure that the fibers are, are shorter. Okay, so it's not as tough. You don't want to cut it lengthwise. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little bit of soy sauce. A little bit of cooking wine. Corn starch. And a little bit water. And a little bit of vegetable oil. And normally you would uh, put this in the fridge for a couple hours or overnight, but we're just going to cook it now, which is still okay. Now we're just going to cut up this uh, ginger and uh, garlic, just get the peel off.
get uh, maybe three, four slices. The garlic, smash it up with the side of the knife. Okay, we're ready to cook. The, uh, we got the wok heated up. I got a little bit of oil in here. Put the ginger and garlic in. We're just gonna try to get the flavor out first. So we're just gonna cook it just for a little bit. Gonna add the beef. You don't want to overcook the beef, just, just enough so that it turns turns the, from the red to a little bit of a brown to it. Now you're going to add about 2 thirds cup of water or uh, soup stock or chicken stock. And then if you don't have that, then you're gonna put a little bit, I'd say maybe a half, an, half a teaspoon of water, just to make it a little bit more flavorful. Now you add your salt, your sugar, white pepper powder, oyster sauce, about a uh, tea, uh, tablespoon, and sesame oil, just a dash. And it looks like the beef is just about done here. Get your cornstarch and water mixture and just thicken it up. That's it. Okay, so now we're gonna take that cooked vegetable. We're gonna put it on the cutting board. And we're just gonna cut it diagonal here. Just maybe bite-sized pieces. And usually the leaves are 
pretty broad, so just make a little cut through the leaves. Okay, and now you're just gonna pour the beef right over that. There we go. Okay, now for the taste test again. I can really taste the ginger and that garlic in here, and the oyster sauce. So I hope you try this at home. And uh, if you do like it, please like and subscribe. See you in my next segment. Uh, quite a few of the viewers are interested in uh, Dragon House t-shirts, similar to this. So if you're interested in having one of these shirts, uh, please leave it, uh, your comment below. And then uh, I'll try to get some shirts to get that you send out. Okay, next time.